Albert Grinder from PizzaTherapy.com, LegendsOfPizza.com blog. I'm talking to Tony Gemignani about what's new, what he's doing. Well, how are you doing, Tom? Good, good. I'm doing all sorts of things. Just opened up Capos in San Francisco. It's my Chicago concept. It's a whiskey bar, Prohibition uh, place. Right now, you know, when you look at our industry, Chicago is actually making a, a new wave in, in the industry. It's, it's making almost a comeback. Um, new book I'm actually working on, which is exciting. It's uh, going to be out next year. And two new restaurants, one in Northern California and one in Las Vegas that I'm building that will be open at the end of the year. And uh, just signed something in Hollywood or something else uh, for the pizza industry. So right now it's it's a lot of work, man. Tony, you got a lot on your plate. How do you keep up with it all? I barely sleep. I, you know, I just love it. I always thought it could be better, and I always thought the independent operator can make uh, a statement in this industry. Uh -huh. And uh, I think we are. Especially on the show floor, when you see these operators here, the competitions, and just seeing the excitement. I mean, it's great to see a house full of pizza. Ninety-nine point nine percent of them are really independents. And how about your own pizza making? You're keeping your fingers in making pizza all the time. You know, when it comes to Tony's, you'll see me behind the line. There's a few things that we introduced to Tony's. Uh, yeah, I think I said a couple of years ago, Detroit was going to make a big impact. Uh, I brought that to the Tony's menu. Uh, Detroit style about a year and a half that style is one of the hottest styles on the expo floor three years ago it didn't exist last year the guy won best pizza in the world uh, in that category and now everyone's talking Detroit so we've introduced a couple pizzas St. Louis style and Detroit that are places that a lot of people don't think really exist when it comes to pizza but if you do it right it can be uh, pretty awesome so we launched that about a year and a half ago and it's been a big a uh, big, big part of the program at Tony's because, you know, we have every style. So uh, it's just crazy to go to Tony's now and get 11 styles of pizza. Can you remember them all? I know that you have uh, coal-fired ovens, wood-fired ovens. Yeah, we have our New Haven and New York style coal-fired coal pizzas. You know, you look at a clam and garlic or just a tomato pie. Uh, when you think of our rotating gas brick oven, uh, our Rotoflex, does 22 ounce of uh, 22 inch uh, pizzas that uh, the New York slice. Then you go into our classic American, classic Italian, Neapolitan, California, Roman, Sicilian, uh, gluten free. You know we have eight ovens now. <laughs> I've added three more, and um, just about every style of pizza. Okay, yeah, that sounds fantastic, Tony. Have you noticed uh, more of a growth in the artisan style pizza all across the industry? Yeah, three years ago, um, when I did the keynote, I talked about American flower companies probably relabeling their flowers double zero. Uh, the movement of wood versus coal to even uh, Italian electric ovens have made a big impact in our industry. Organics, smaller mills are making a big impact in our industry. So the artisan movement is definitely here. It's going some different directions. It's even going back to how Detroit was made and different styles were made. And it's not just wood, you know, it's also gas bricks. So it's evolving, but at the same time, it's going back to what how pizza was made, celebrating it and making it better. So yeah, especially the Italian flour companies, if you look at how many are on the floor now, it's crazy. I mean, you never saw this many Italian companies ever on expo floor. And now there's just over a dozen, I would probably say, which is great because it's great to be able to see that many. That's fantastic. It's good for the industry. Tony, what advice do you have for someone that wants to get into making pizza as, as a business? Yeah, if you, if you get into the pizza business, uh, the first thing is uh, you better be in love with it. You should have a passion for it. Um, you know, if you love what you do and you have a passion, it'll give you that drive and it'll, it'll make you become better and want to be better. And I think when you have that, you're married to it. You know, you, some, you're at the pizzeria more than you're at home. You know, you, you see the guys at work more than you, you, know, you see your, your own wife. And when it comes to that, it's day-to-day -day operations and understanding a commitment that's there of quality and consistency so it's very important and finally tony what uh, advice do you have someone that wants to make their own pizza at home uh, when you make your own pizza at home it's all about balance your dough your sauce your cheese understanding that at 500 degrees in your home oven you need a browning agent like a sugar or malt to help caramelize that dough a little better 
doing a slow rise method. I mean, making your dough digestible, making it light, airy, like you would in a, in a pizzeria. You know, you want pizzeria dough. Crank up your oven as hot as you can. Two stones in that oven works out great. You know, watch the high hydration because everybody wants to do it, but at the same time, it becomes a sloppy mess in your home oven and you don't have to go too high. So, a lot of things. Tony, thanks a lot for taking time to talk to me, but I want to let people know how they can contact you, how they can get in touch with uh, Tony's Pizza Napolitana. Yeah, Tony's Pizza Napolitana, San Francisco, California. Okay. Thanks a lot, Tony. Thank you. Learn to make your own homemade pizza. Go to legendsofpizza.com slash pizza book. Claim your copy of the Pizza Therapy Pizza Book. Go to legendsofpizza.com slash pizza book. That's legendsofpizza.com slash pizza book.